Hi, so what's your first name? Colette. Colette, um, what needs fixing, Colette? Um, I'm not quite sure what needs fixing, but I think it's old. <laughs> I'm 52 and I think it goes back a very long time. I have all over pain and sometimes my battery just goes, just like that. Yeah. Um, and just want to find out where it's coming from or why it's going. Right, I'll need another spoonful, Jane. Yep. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yep, just because there's a lot to fix. There's a lot to fix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know it's been um, a thing. And you, I keep crying tonight. Every mm -hmm. time you're working with somebody else, I just keep crying. Oh, that's a good <laughs> sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I keep getting pains all over my body whilst you're working with other people as well, which yeah. is kind of like freaky. Yeah. Um, and the... Uh, Responsibility, this lady here. I feel like I'm responsible for other people's happiness. Uh, all these things that are coming out that you're talking about, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can identify with other people, and I do tend to identify with other people, but I do think I take a lot on myself. Yeah. And sometimes I don't think it's all my own. Sometimes I think it's other people's, and yeah. I kind of like shoulder it. And that's probably why I'm so short. <laughs> for such a long time and I use humour obviously to deal with my pain as well which is like um, right the way down to my toes wow. so I hope that's a big dessert spoonful yes. <laughs> there, we go. there we go, extra boost for this and all that's in here is rice that's all that's in there can't make any claims for the product we don't know what it's going to do for you but we know it will give you energy that's one thing that's for sure <laughs> yeah. I nearly slopped then because you're all. Good job. Yeah. 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 Good job. Right, and so this stuff goes into your body on the what's called the Krebs cycle. It doesn't need to go through your digestive system. It's super, super fine. It's what's called alpha particle, which means as you take it in, it can go in. It can go in through the tongue and through the inside of the mouth. So it works very, very fast. And. I'll tell you off camera what it's really, really good for. But I've got to be careful because you have this oh, thing I called really training standards. <laughs> and if I can't prove it with uh, studies and doctors' statements, so right, it's still colour healing. All right, so um, let's see what's going to happen. Now, the first thing I've noticed is they've brought me right into Colette's space. This is as close as I've been to anybody tonight already. And it, it, Definitely, they're working on the head first. Okay, and I've got purples and blues going through her forehead. So you are a healer yourself, eh? A lot of people I come across with chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, they're healers mm -hmm. that have been picking up energy off people for donkey's years, mm -hmm. and then walking around with it in their space, not knowing what to do with it. Mm. Yeah. And so that feels like that's partly your problem, but partly your problem is about 50-50, is toxins in your body. Right, the world that we live in now is a lot more toxic than it was in grandparents' day. Our major detox organ is the liver. The liver, all the blood passes through the liver, and then toxins get pulled out either to go to the um, gallbladder to go out in the feces, or to the kidneys to go out in the urine. But there's so much more toxins in our environment now than ever before. Fly sprays, deodorants, makeup, uh, everything that we put on our body, everything that we're spraying, air fresheners in the house, vaccines. There's some really nasty stuff in vaccines. What, what the body's supposed to do with it? And so what happens is the body's wisdom will store it somewhere. E has not got enough energy to get the stuff out but when we get you on the purple powder you liver's got more energy so it can start doing a detox if one's required e now Colette what can you feel happening um, <clears throat> kind of feeling the edges softening edges are softening yeah, yeah. Any vibration anywhere in your body? I can feel it coming off you into yeah, my cold. head. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now, if I say to you uh, that you are here to serve, can you relate to that? Yeah. 
Yeah, so she's here to serve. But the thing is this, you're not here to serve people, all right? Because they will want different things from you and it might not be what you're here to do. You're here to serve God, all right? And so the more you can connect with your own divinity and let this express through you, you'll end up helping people, but in a much more powerful way than if you just do for them what they ask for. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah cool. And if anybody else is listening to those words thinking, yes, that's me too, you need to be on my weekend workshop. Yeah? Uh, the weekend workshop is designed to help you connect with who you truly are, your own divinity, and help you learn to heal like you see me do. Don't expect to be like I am in two days. I've done this for 25 years, yeah? But by the end of the weekend, we can reasonably expect that you will have your body moved by spirit. We can reasonably expect that you'll be able to feel warmth and tingling and different sensations in your hands. And you may even be able to see colours in the aura. Different people have different abilities. E and when I'm in Colette's energy field, what she's looking for is, is for life to be fulfilling, for life to have meaning. That's what she's looking for. Yeah. You just don't want same old, same old. You know, yeah, well, it needs to have meaning, it's got to have purpose. And so that's what you're looking for. <coughs> now, the surgeon is saying to me, it's all about the blood. All right, the blood. Think about this, guys. The blood is the transportation system. It brings in the nutrients, the oxygen, the good stuff, and it transports it to every cell. And then it takes away the waste matter, the carbon dioxide, any toxins. So it's all about the blood. And uh, what we call conventional medicine, that my grandma would call newfangled medicine, because healing is conventional. What I'm doing now is actually the conventional stuff. Pharmaceuticals have only been around for about 80, 100 years. Yeah, Healing is the old stuff, but somehow we've lost it. We've got, we've got confused. They now call what I do new age. No, it's not. This is the old, 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 old stuff. Anyway, um, where was I going with that? There was something there about, yeah, lost it. Cold must have not been important. Cool. Now, what's happening for you in your head? What can you feel happening, Colette? Heat. Heat, yeah. God bless. All right, now as a healer, I have to keep my energetic space clear. The clearer I am, the more peaceful I am, the more I can sense discordant energy in somebody's energy field. So I'm just letting your consciousness know that you're here as a healer. As a healer, you need to keep yourself nice and clear, which is the opposite to what you are, isn't it? Yeah, but just me telling you, your higher self, that your guides now are frantically working to clear some stuff out of your space. It's like they're all working overtime. E Now what happens is we hold on to stuff. Somebody hurts us, we hold on to it. Why do we hold on to it? I reckon we're, we're sort of conditioned, because kids, when kids have an argument, they have an argument, the next minute they're best friends again, and they fall out again and they're best friends. But we as adults, if we fall out, oh, we're not talking to people and we're gonna divorce them, and we hold on to stuff, and we need to not do that. The reason I think we do that is I think at some level, we think if we hold on to it, we will keep the learning. You can keep the learning without holding on to the emotion. So I want you all now just to take your awareness within and have a look to see what is it you're holding on to. Find some pain in there, wherever it is in your body, notice where it is in your body, and just realize, I don't need to hold on to that anymore. What was the learning of that situation? The learning was set boundaries or say how you feel or, or don't give them money, whatever the learning was, but then let go of the emotion. You don't need it, guys. You don't need that old emotion. All right, I help people feel better, not by feeling how they feel. That will be one way of working. I help people feel better by tapping into divine, amazing beings that make me feel amazing, so I look younger at the end of the night, yeah? And then they work on you. That's a much better way. If I felt how you felt, you know, five or six healings, I'm gonna be fit for nothing, I'm gonna feel lousy, aren't I? So don't heal that way. 
call on a really nice divine being that feels absolutely amazing, let them be in your space, and then let that energy flow into the people that need the heat. How does that sound for you? Really good. Really good, cool. And so as I'm saying these words, all the different aspects of yourself, your guides are listening, thinking, hey, that's not a bad idea, we could do that. Now this now <coughs> is me clearing away the energy that the guides have been working to release. E now the reason sound gets used a lot in my work is sound is the medicine of the future, you might my words, sound and homeopathy. Homeopathy used to be part of the National Health Service, some idiots got it taken out, it needs to come back in. Homeopathy is the medicine of the future, and as is vibrational medicine. E in the UK touring, I got approached by a top musician called Medwin Goodall and he said we need to put those E's into music that people can listen to and get well done it. It's called restoration and you can play the different sounds for different things. Um, the most powerful track on the album is restoration, that's like a factory reset. Right Colette, how are you feeling? Lighter, um, yeah. feel like uh, my weight's been lifted off. Yeah, what can I do? I'm curious, eh? You see how long it took her even to think then? It was like, wow, she was soft somewhere else. I'm like Mr. Soft. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.